dealing with some really twisted lumber here. And I'm trying to put screws in to draw things tight, but even that's not working. Okay, I think it's time to explain something. Um, a normal wall framed will have a single bottom plate and a double top plate. This being the plate. And the reason why you double it at the top is because you can tie walls together that way. Like, like this wall coming into here this plate on the top will then tie into that plate up there. Up there. And that will help hold that wall in position. And that's one of the reasons why you double plate. You also can straighten that top plate by going contrary with your uh, crowns on your board. It helps straighten out. Now you'll notice in this case, in this case, I'm doing a double bottom plate. I will do a double a top plate as well. And the reason is my walls are eight foot six. And by taking two plates top and two bottom, that gives me six inches because they're inch and a half each. Then I can put an eight foot stud in there. I have my eight foot six. If I just did a single plate on the bottom, I'd have to buy longer lumber and cut it off and take the pieces and throw them on the burn pile. So rather than having to cut every stud in the house and rather than throwing it all away, I opted to do double plate top and bottom. Now that means when I drill through the bottom plate for plumbing or electric or anything else, I have to drill through two plates instead of one. I'm willing to deal with that, so I'm okay with that. You'll also notice that I stood the wall up, but I didn't put the header in. And there's a reason for that as well. The wall's heavy. Working by myself to add that extra weight to there just doesn't make sense. So I'll put that in after the fact.
Got some ants over there. I'm going to see if this chicken will eat them. Yeah, she's a good girl. Sure she is.
what we got on this side of the house um, when I leveled the cement off at the top of the forms I didn't get it as good as I could have so what I have to do is just nibble a little off the bottom of each one so far anyways and and I put a level across the top so that I get these things flat it's a little extra work but it's worth it in the end when it comes time to do the finish work it'll be a lot better um, it's it's never more than an eighth of inch quarter inch but I just want to take the time to do that the other side Mrs. W did it and she did a better job than me and so that that went in there pretty nice Okay, I'm going to end the video here. I'll give you a little tour of the house as it is now. Uh, this would be the kitchen. Um, <clears throat> the sink would be here. Uh, that would be the main entrance door. Um, this would be the dining room area and living room area over in here. We got uh, four big windows in the living room, a door going out to the porch, which will be a full length porch. Um, over here, this, although it's not, the doorway's not framed in yet, um, this will be a pantry. This will be one bedroom, a door going outside. Um, Closet doors not framed in as well This would be the front room which will be a music room. We'll set up our studio and and Have all our equipment in here uh, also a door going out because uh, It's nice to be able to shut equipment out when you're playing a gig and not have to go through the whole house so we'd be able to back the car right up out here and uh, load the equipment <clears throat> And off of this bedroom that I just showed you is a bathroom. It's small. I'll uh, be a five foot tub and shower here against this wall and then toilet and sink. And then off of the main living space will be uh, another small bathroom going to be a 36 inch shower here and tub and toilet uh, sink and toilet sorry and then finally the uh, second bedroom which has two windows and it also has a door going out now the doors in these bedrooms look big but they have a light on the side of them you know like a piece of glass so they're not really as big as they look. Um, then you have this small closet from that. So pretty simple house. Uh, it's just the two of us. We don't need a lot. Uh, should be really tight. And uh, should be able to heat it pretty easily. I'm not sure if I'm going to put air conditioning in. I don't really think we're going to need it. But... Um, it'll be nice with a full length porch porch goes out here about 10 feet in full length it'd be really nice to be able to sit here and look look at the back um, so that's it so the next video will be framing the roof um, in the video after that I have to uh, put the porch on and in order to finish the roof I gotta have the porch so that because uh, the roof ties in. So I'll see you on the next one.